Hello, hello YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am feeling so good today. I don't know what it is. I feel all this positive energy, positive vibes, and I feel like I want to share it with you guys today. I like that. I like that. And I want to talk about confidence. And of course, I don't have any makeup on. So while I talk to you guys about my feelings and opinion on being confident, and I'm going to be doing my makeup at the same time, which is kind of hard for me because I can't do two things at once. It's kind of like counting and chewing. I just can't do it. I don't know why. It's so hard. But I'm going to try my hardest. I'm at a point in my life where... I feel like nothing truly bothers me. And when I say that, I'm talking about how other people view me, how other people think of me when they look at me. It really doesn't matter what people think. And I know if I'm comfortable with myself, I can go ahead and do just as I please, however I want. And so that's how I got to start my YouTube channel. Of course, I'm still growing and I'm hoping to be successful. Um, and that's with anything that I do. It's not just with this channel, it's with my career, my family, you know, just everything that's coming. This is really hard for me to do makeup and try to talk to you guys about confidence. It's like, I, it's like patting your, hold on, let me see if I could do it. I can do this, but I can't count in two. I think that Whatever you choose to do in life, whatever it may be, you have to be fully confident within yourself and you have to believe that you are able to achieve your goals, whatever your goals may be. Hopefully they're positive and hopefully they help you and others at the same time. You guys, I hate doing eyebrows. I can never... Oh. I guess they're okay, right? And confidence to me is also like... Fake it till you make it. Like for me, I'm not a makeup artist. I have not a clue what I'm doing. I'm just going with the wind, going with the flow. I'm watching other people, how they do their techniques and all of their shenanigans. And I'm just like... Trying to follow I know suit. I can't do it exactly how they do it, but whatever works for me is what I'm going for. Which leads me to self-confidence. I have like this one hair on my eyebrow that is sticking straight up. What am I supposed to do with it? I don't want to pluck it. Everyone has their story. Everyone has different experiences in life, and I know we don't all go through the same, but the experiences that I have been through, I think have shaped me and molded me into the thinking that I have now. I think I'm a little bit stronger than I was. And of course, you know, that's part of growing. And if you're not stronger, you know, you're, you're kind of going backwards if you're still thinking the same way that you did 10 years ago. And that's just truth. But I find that if I want to do something or if I want to go for something now, I just go ahead and do it. It's like no ifs, no ands, no, oh, well, what if they think this about me? What if they say that? And oh my God, I don't even think that way anymore. I just go ahead and I lunge for it. And it's like, it is what it is. Like I'm at the point where I don't have anything to lose. My thoughts and the things that I wanna do, my ideas. And so it's just a matter of moving forward. It's just a matter of being really confident, believing in yourself, wanting to do it, wanting it. You know? Crazy because you hear so many people saying that they have goals and they have all these expectations. They want to have this and they want to have that. They want to go here and there and, you know, they're just dreamers, which is great because we all need a dream. We all need to say and speak it into existence that this is what we want. This is where we want to be. This is who we want to be. The only difference is if you don't have enough confidence to move forward and actually 
go with the process of what you want to do, like set it into motion, get up off the couch or get out of your house and, or just go to that person and talk to them, whatever the case may be, whatever the scenario is, the first step is just doing it, having the confidence and just moving forward. You have to do it. So with my YouTube channel, of course, I'm starting off small, just like everyone else is. I'm not big yet, and I'm hoping maybe. It took me about, I wanna say, a year and a half to two years of really just brainstorming and really just thinking of, okay, do I wanna go ahead and create a channel? It, well, everybody has a channel nowadays. I swear to God, everyone and the mom does. But I was just like, okay, well, well, what am I gonna do? And are people gonna watch me? And you know, I was just really, really, I'm not gonna say worried, but more so concerned about what other people would think about me. Which right now I'm at the point where I'm like, <laughs> you know what, if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. And it just is what it is. Um, my content will not be for everyone and everyone else's content is certainly not for me. And that's how I look at it. And it's more so in the direction now in my life where it's like, okay, um, Jessica, if you wanna go ahead and be that person, you go ahead and do this and do that, I'm gonna do it. I don't care who it is, I don't care who looks at me, it just is what it is. I cannot do this, I cannot freaking do makeup and talk at the same time. It's like, it's why is it so hard? And I'm just doing like a simple makeup look, a simple, and I can't do it. Ugh. I'm not even gonna do any lashes today. Um, it's very windy outside and I'm scared that they might flutter away. This is the Essence Mascara in Get Big Lashes. <laughs> you know how they always say that you have to open your mouth when you put on mascara, like, I can't do that. I swear it's super hard to talk and do something. Oh my God, I feel like I'm not capable. <laughs> I don't know how all the other YouTubers, when they do makeup and explain everything, what they're doing, like I just cannot do it. It is super hard, oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna pull my hair back because like I said, it's very windy where we are at. It's been windy all this weekend. I don't know what's going on. I love being able to think and know that whatever it is that I wanna do, I'm capable of doing. And it almost boils down to that, I don't know how many of you ever heard of the book, The Secret. It's very well known. I read the book twice. I've never watched the movies because I always think the books are better than the movies. When you apply confidence in your daily thinking and you continuously do it, I believe that you certainly can manifest anything that you are desiring, wanting. And that goes again with confidence. If you have confidence, you know, if you go in, say if you have to take a very important test to pass to, I don't know, get a job or whatever, you know, if you go in, first of all, you have to take the steps in order to pass. Of course, study. You know, you can't just go in and be like, oh, I hope, I hope this, I hope I pass this test and da da da. You have to put in the effort to what you want. And along with that, think and believe it, and it'll definitely manifest itself. It'll come true. So if you study very hard for that one test, you know, actually take that step into doing towards your goal of what you're wanting. And then the day that you go in and take that test, you know, walk in with your head high and say to yourself, I got this, you know, I can pass this test to get that job. There are so many people in my opinion, that underestimate themselves when it comes to just being successful 
and pretty much anything. You know, there's a lot of people that I hear, they're like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, and I look like a little bug, my feelers. <laughs> but there are a lot of people that say, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Well, it's because of your thinking. You have to be confident within yourself. You have to believe and respect your thoughts. Respect your positive, the good thoughts that you have. When you believe that you can be or can do anything, you have to respect those thoughts. And a lot of times, negative thoughts overlap the positive because then it comes in and swooshes in like, oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to do that. Why? Because that other person has a, a, a better qualifications or a, a higher degree than what you do. Once those thoughts start coming in, you have to like push them out the way and just say, Psh, be gone, you know? I know to some people it might sound like I'm rambling, but um, I have a difficult time finding my words when I want to express myself on my mind. I, I, I have so many ideas, so many, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like my head is gonna explode and I do not know how to express that in words. Again, if it sounds like I'm rambling, I'm not. I'm just, you know, giving my opinion on how I feel um, on the subject of confidence. And so here I am making a video for you, not giving a crap on what you guys are gonna think. If it's good, then yes, I will. But you know, the negative things. I'm not worried about if someone's like, yeah, okay, well, this is whatever. I don't care. Maybe my words would be able to help someone, even if it's just one simple person, you know, watching this and listening and saying, hey, she's got a good point there. You know, let me apply that positive energy, those positive thoughts, that positive vibe, and gain my self confidence. And not just within yourself, um, confidence within others. You can have that confidence within your children. I have confidence within my child. And you know, I love her dearly. She's my life. I have confidence in my husband. I love him dearly. And I know that anything he sets his mind to, <laughs> it's done. It's a done deal. And that goes with, you know, other family members. It goes with friends. It can even be with strangers. It could be as simple as um at a marathon, you know, rooting them on, that last person that's struggling, trying to make it across, you know, that line, you can root for them and that gives them confidence and that goes with any aspect, you know, um, and you have no idea the smallest gesture, if you have confidence within yourself and you can pass that along to someone else, how great that can make someone feel. Um, even if it's the smallest thing, you have no idea, you know, the smallest gesture can last a lifetime for that one person. They can always go back and say, oh wow, I remember when this random person held the door open and said, oh, I love your hair or, you know, I loved your dress or whatever, your outfit on that day and say that person was just very down that day and you built up that person's confidence by that one simple statement, by just giving them a compliment and whatnot. And you should also give yourself compliments all the time, you know. Um, I'm not saying that you need to gas yourself up. Well, some people do and it works for them, that's fine. But, you know, give yourself some credit for some of the things that you're doing, you know. Just believe in yourself and believe in others. And to me, that's what confidence is. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, until next time, 